Conservative Media Peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal, and Paul F. Villarreal over there, and we're still talking about this unbelievable historic win by Bernard Hopkins to become the oldest person ever to win a major world championship in boxing. And the, the, the size of this feat, the, the monumental aspect of this, in combination with Bernard Hopkins' already Hall of Fame career, the longevity, the titles, at, at uh, middleweight, light heavyweight, and he's done all kinds of different stuff. And he beat some of the biggest names, been in there, some of the biggest names, just done them unbelievable stuff. You know, uh, and now we need to really ask a question. Is Bernard Hopkins the greatest fighter fighting right now? I'm talking including Manny Pacquiao. Now, of course, Manny Pacquiao is widely regarded as the best pound for pound fighter. But I'm talking about the greatest fighter fighting right now. That's a different question. Manny Pacquiao is unbelievable, but Manny Pacquiao is in his early 30s. I, I would all but guarantee you that Manny Pacquiao isn't winning any world championships at 46, I mean, sorry, 40, let alone 46. I mean, you just cannot understand the level of this victory. This isn't a situation with, you know, uh, George Foreman. I mean, this is what I'm trying to say. This isn't like George Foreman, and I love George Foreman. And first of all, all of my personal opinion, not legendary facts, not case, it's personal, fair, entertainment, opinion, purpose, only to exclaimers. I love George Foreman, but George Foreman has such power. As they say in the fight game, you know, power is the last thing to go. I mean, George Foreman has such power. This isn't like a, 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 a powerful, a super powerful man like George Foreman that has heavy, heavy hands that could, that could frankly, sh stun or possibly even knock people out with a jab. Dropping Michael Moore. And that was an unbelievable feat. This is Bernard Hopkins at light heavyweight. Out striking, out fitnessing, out boxing, out uh, um, uh, pointing a young uh, lion of boxing, John Pascal. Uh, you know, a, a young, fit, super strong John Pascal. That just puts it on a whole different level. And I'm just saying, when you put it all together, career versus career, and this level of achievement, it really, you just have to ask yourself, who is the greatest fighter fighting right now? I got to give it to B-Hop, the executioner, Bernard Hopkins. I, I, I just, it, Paul, this was unbelievable. I mean, you know, uh, this just is an unbelievable look. Yes, Manny Pacquiao is the best pound-for-pound -pound boxer right now. But in terms of the greatest boxer boxing right now, I think Bernard Hopkins, this win is just so unbelievable. It, it's I just can't even, I don't even know what to say about it. Yeah. This was an amazing accomplishment. I do think, as you said, but Manny Pacquiao is already regarded by at least several experts as top 20 all-time great. And that's just because he's won, he's won titles in eight different divisions and nobody's ever done that. Now, I, I there were divisions in the past, so it's a little skewed, but still, I mean, you still have to take that into account. And I love Manny Packer. We love him. Tonight, and what he's done over his career is incredible. Yeah. It's amazing. As you said, I mean, you know, who knows how far up the all-time great list this puts him, but it certainly puts him up pretty high. I mean, everybody remembers the awe that Foreman was regarded in for his accomplishment. And as you said, Hopkins isn't even a power puncher, so he couldn't even rely on that. He actually had to fight and dig in. I love Foreman. Foreman was getting killed in that moral fight. He was down like, I don't know, like, you know, eight to one in rounds. Hopkins had to win this fight round by round with good stamina and movement whatever and that's just a huge achievement it, it's a huge achievement there's no question about it Manny Pacquiao you know all those championships all divisions no doubt it's amazing but here's the problem and Manny Pacquiao challenged himself against bigger heavier guys I, I get that but here's the problem 
Manny Pacquiao, for whatever reason, and there's different, hasn't faced Mayweather. Hasn't faced a couple of people that, you know, I don't think, I mean, you know, Bernard Hopkins has fought some of the best people around. Bernard Hopkins fought Roy Jones. And Bernard Hopkins lost to Roy Jones the first time. Did they fight? They fought twice, didn't they? Yeah, they did. What? And Hopkins won second. That, that's what I thought. And that just shows you right there. I mean, the thing is, let's say Pacquiao fights fights Mayweather and he loses. I mean, you know, Pacquiao's been on a great win streak now, but he has lost before. Okay? So, I mean, you look at the number of wins. I mean, Bernard Hopkins, is, isn't he getting close to 60 wins? I mean, it's unbelievable. And he's fought De La Hoya. And he's fought Roy Jones. And he's fought Kelly, Kelly Pavlik. And Taylor. And Pascal. And all. I mean, he's fought so many people. It's unbelievable. And he's just dismantled so many other of the top talent. So, I mean, you know, again... And now to win this the way that he won it at 46, I'm sorry, but I think that that is just a whole different level. You know, you're dealing with someone here with Bernard Hopkins that has shown a timelessness and a level of performance and consistency that's just unparalleled. And that has to be and earn a love of respect, you know, that I think, again, the historic, nobody has ever done this. Nobody has ever done this. So it's not just a one-time thing. It's, it's what he's done, how he's done it, along with everything else that he's done for his entire career. I think that puts Hopkins as the greatest fighter fighting right now. Again, Manny Pacquiao is... Uh, the best fighter fighter right now, the best pound for pound fighter. Those are two different things. We love them both. We want to hear what you have to say. The Manny Pacquiao fans are going to want to speak on this. The B-Hop fans are going to want to speak on this. This is boxing history that went down tonight. I want to know what you think about it. Give us the comments below. Subscribe above. I'm John DeValero. That is Paul. We're Conservative Media, and we will see you next time.